Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. We'll get to our game in a minute, but we just have a little business to take care of. Okay, set the game up exactly the way you like. So what are you going to do? Okay, so how many people are out there? We'll just add two computer players. Player one, what's your name? Welcome to Jeopardy. Are you ready for the first round? Let's see what our first round categories are. Actors and actresses. Food facts. X, Y, Z. All in quotation marks. Animal groups. Paintings, the 20th century. Player one, start us off. It's the single-celled organism that makes bread rise. Player one. That's correct. All right, pick again. It's caused by drowsiness or acute boredom. A polite person tries to stifle it. Player one. That's it. You're in first place all by yourself. All right, pick again. The Malamute was so important in this Canadian territory's history that it's on the territorial flag. Player one. That's right. All right, pick again. Kishiarsha was the old Persian name of this old Persian king. Player one. You are correct. All right, pick again. The two countries that border Zambia that fit the category. Player one. Good guess, but that's incorrect, unfortunately. All right, pick again. The traditional sauce served with roast lamb contains confectioner sugar, vinegar, and these leaves. Player one. Correct. All right, pick again. Fanny Farmer's recipe for beef a la Lindstrom calls for two of these boiled and mashed. Player one. Yes, indeed. All right, pick again. 
A Genoise is a light sponge cake whose name is derived from this city. Player two. That's it. All right, contestant two. This star of Nell and the Silence of the Lambs has a degree in literature from Yale. Player two. That's right. All right, pick again. As Angela Bennett in this 1995 film, Sandra Bullock found her identity deleted from the information superhighway. Player three. That's correct. Contestant three, it's your turn. David signed his The Oath of the Horatii in Latin, saying it was created by him in this city in the year 1784. Player two. Yes, indeed. Your choice, player two. His Guernica, showing the horrors of war, was once exhibited at the Prado behind bulletproof glass. Player two. You are correct. You're not far back now. All right, pick again. A self-portrait hangs above the bed in his 1889, The Bedroom at Arles. Player two. Right you are. All right, pick again. Thomas Gainsborough's portrait of the wife of this School for Scandal author is in the National Gallery. Player three. Yes. Okay, player three. A shrewdness of these large primates may be full of chimps or gorillas. Player one. No, too bad. Player three. Yes. All right, pick again. Nevermore will we mention that a group of these birds is an unkindness. Player one. Yes. What'll it be, player one? You'll hear many peeps out of a peep of these. Player three. That's right. Your choice, player three. When Henry Luce and Britton Haddon founded this magazine in 1923, they almost called it Facts. Player one. Yes. Your choice, player one. Zeta, who died in 1989, was the last empress of this house that ruled Austria-Hungary. Player three. Correct. Player three, your turn. When someone wishes you good these at Christmas, they may be referring to a group of magpies. Player two. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Anybody? Player three, what'll it be? In 1931, she was the blonde gentleman preferred. Player two. Correct. Player two, it's your turn. Canaletto's arrival of the French ambassador shows him arriving in this city. Player one. No, that's incorrect. Anyone? Player three. That's it. Player three, you choose. 
Answer. Daily double. Player three. We have your wager, please. He had a role on TV's Dallas before starring in films like Seven and Seven Years in Tibet. Player three. No, I'm sorry. Here is the correct response. All right, pick again. Gather a group of these animals in Wisconsin, and you'll have a seat. Player two. Right you are. Player two, your turn. Jan in the sock, or John in the bag, is a dessert from this African country. Player two. Yes. All right, pick again. This variety meat, the lining of a ruminant stomach, is usually sold blanched and parboiled. Player three. That's right. It's your turn, player three. This program was grounded from January 28, 1986 to September 29, 1988. Player one. Correct. It's your turn, player one. Anthropologists gorge themselves on the discoveries the Leakeys made at this African gorge in 1959. Player two? No, I'm sorry. Player one, what'll it be? She earned an Oscar nomination for starring in The Rose and an Emmy nomination for playing Mama Rose in Gypsy. Player two? You are correct. And to finish the board... He played the Joker in 1989's Batman and in 1994 turned into a wolf. Anyone? All right, that's the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's look at the total scores so far. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Double Jeopardy. Let's get to the categories for Double Jeopardy. The American Revolution. Famous Mexicans. Bodies of Water. Crossword Clues V in quotation marks. Cheese, please. Cathedrals and churches. Player one, let's get this game going. Spoils getter. Six letters. Player one. Yes, indeed. All right, pick again. A shot in the arm. Eleven letters. Player one. Yes. All right, pick again. Batman. Seven letters. Player one. Yes, indeed. All right, pick again. Wordy. Seven letters. Player one. Yes, indeed. All right, pick again. 
A safe place. Five letters. Player one. That's it, exactly. All right, pick again. The temperature and salinity of this smallest ocean vary as the ice cover freezes and melts. Layer one. That's right. All right, pick again. U.S. naval personnel in Cuba call it Gitmo for short. Player one. Exactly. You've got a commanding lead. All right, pick again. It separates Tierra del Fuego from the tip of the South American mainland. Player one. No, I'm sorry. Anybody? Player three. Yes. Player three, it's your turn. A 1573 book said a perfect cheese should not be like Lot's wife, all this seasoning. Player three. Yes, indeed. All right, pick again. Eugene Field wrote, the best of all physicians is this fruit pie and cheese. Player one. Right you are. Player one. Cheshire cheeses were once shaped like grinning cats, which may have inspired this author's Cheshire cat. Player two? Why, yes. All right, contestant two. Answer? Here we go. Player two, your wager, please. On September 11, 1777, this French aristocrat was wounded in his first action at the Battle of Brandywine. Player two? That's wrong. Here is the correct response. All right, pick again. Victor Hugo described it as a vast symphony in stone. Quasimodo would agree. Player one? That's correct. Player one, your turn. James Renwick designed this Fifth Avenue Cathedral in the Gothic Revival style. Player one. Correct. All right, pick again. The Basilica of the Holy Blood in Bruges in this country contains a relic believed to be drops of Christ's blood. Player two? Yes. It's your turn, player two. This former Dodger pitcher was nicknamed El Toro. Player three? To be sure. Player three. This star of the film Zorba the Greek was born in Chihuahua, Mexico. Player two. That's right. All right, contestant two. This Evil Ways rock group founder was born in Atlán de Navarro in 1947. Player two? 
That's it exactly. All right, pick again. The answer is a video daily double. Player two, your wager, please. This guerrilla leader of the agrarian movement helped Madero overthrow Diaz in 1911. Take a look at your monitor. Player two? Good guess, but that's wrong. Here is the correct response. All right, pick again. Commanding the Providence, he raided British fisheries and seized 16 enemy ships. Player two? Correct. All right, pick again. In December 1778, this future Chief Justice was elected President of the Second Continental Congress. Player one? You are correct. Player one, it's your turn. If every nerve is not strained, the game is pretty near up, Washington wrote before this December 26, 1776 battle. Player three. Yes, indeed. Okay, player three. Guinness says the world's largest cheese was a 40,060-pound cheddar made in 1988 in this U.S. state. Player one. Yes. What'll it be, player one? Fort Moultrie, at this South Carolina port, fell to the British May 6, 1780. Player two? Yes. Player two, it's your turn. In January 1995, this president declared an economic emergency and enacted crisis measures. Player two? This English city's modern cathedral, built in 1962, stands next to the bombed-out ruins of the old one. Player two? That's it. All right, pick again. The cathedral of this northern Italian city looks quite fashionable with its 135 marble spires. Player two? Yes. All right, pick again. Traditional carbonara sauce has cream, eggs, bacon bits, and this cheese in it. Player three. No, that's incorrect. Player two? That's right. All right, pick again. Site of a massive oil spill in 1989, it was named for the third son of King George III. Player one? No, that's incorrect. Player three. That's it, exactly. And to finish the board... Ciudad Bolivar and Ciudad Guyana are the major cities on this Venezuelan river. Player two? That's correct. All right, that brings us to the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's take a look at the scores. Here's the category for Final Jeopardy. 
USA. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. All right, here's the answer. Good luck. Let's see how everyone did. Thanks, Johnny. Player three, your question? That's right. And your wager was? Player two, let's take a look at your question. Oh, sorry, that's incorrect. Let's see how much it cost you. Oh, I guess it's just not your day. Player one, your question? Oh, sorry, that's incorrect. Let's see how much it cost you. Sometimes you get a tough one. Congratulations, Player One. You're the Jeopardy champion. Thanks for playing Jeopardy.